I'm Francisco. And I'm Lola. We are sex educators. And we're on a quest to solve the problems New Yorkers face in the bedroom with advice, interior decorating, and a toy or two. Tuto and I want to know where we're at today. We're in Washington Heights, uptown. Oh my gosh, and we're meeting Jesse and Francisco. And their baby, Aya. I'm Francisco Cruz, and I'm the New York City Program Director for a national nonprofit. I'm Jesse, and I'm a writer. So this is Ayo Daenerys Cruz. It's been an interesting transition. And seeing how our worries and wants and needs are changing thanks to having Ayo. In terms of like intimacy, uh, that's definitely changed. What comes most naturally is just making sure that I'm giving 100% to Ayo. I'd like to learn how to get myself back in the headspace of wanting to be intimate in ways that we were before. I'm Francisco, this is Chucho. Chucho, the Perico. You want a yes. tour? Yes. Yeah, let's do a tour. tour. Well, this is where we like spend most of our time. What happens on this food time? Nothing. <laughs> At least yeah. not as of late. Not as of late. <laughs> So how does it feel being newish parents, right? Six months. And first yep. time, right? Yes. yes. Okay. New things to navigate, new yeah. ways of communicating. It's definitely been a journey. How was your pregnancy? I kind of want to use the word miserable, to be honest. So yeah. I had HG. Hyperemesis? Yes. Yeah. There was a period of like 20-ish weeks where I was throwing up like maybe 10 times a day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did all of this impact? your sex life. <laughs> Wasn't really on the yeah. table at all. Yeah. It's I mean, hard to have sex that, when yeah. you're throwing up. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like I'm still kind of even recovering from all of that. But I just want to make sure Ayo's as right. good as possible. So I haven't had time to go into myself, I guess, as yeah. much as I'd like to. I think intimacy has sort of been redefined overall. Right. I think there's a lot of like emotional support. One of the questions I ask Jess like at least once a week, I'm like, what space are you in right now? And in terms of like physical intimacy, it's much more like, subtle, it's usually like hugs or cuddles, especially if like I was asleep and like her rocker. Where are we at kind of libido wise? It's just like frozen, yeah. I don't know. There's just so many other things going on in my head at all times that I have to like force myself to even start to want to try to possibly go there. Mm -hmm. Now it's like, am I a sexual being still? What are the things that like get you to that yes state? Little things, like massages are like something. Like I like reading to together. What kind of reading? Ancient classics. <laughs> I don't oh, know. Wow. <laughs> it's, okay. it's, it's funny, just literally just last night, we were like having wine and Jesse pulled out like a book called, I think The Universe Within, yeah. and it was like reading me oh. segments of it. How ready do you feel to get back into that space of exploring the erotic together. My desires are still there, of course. I think that's the harder part for me to manage. It's like, how do I communicate like my desires without putting Jesse in a position where it's like, they then feel bad about not being in that space. And Jesse, are you ready to at least figure out? I'm ready to figure out, yeah. There's this idea that people should get back to where right. they were. Yeah. But a lot of times it's about exploring now where you could go. Exactly, new possibilities. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we're not here to fix things, but we're here to sort of embrace where you are right now yeah. and work from that. Yeah. Yes. Let's give Jesse and Francisco space. Papow. Emotionally and physically, let's carve it out so they can have the intimate life that they want. Have you read The Hobbit? I do not. It's about fuck emotional. With the Hobbit. I think mm -hmm. we're done. Yeah, it feels good. Welcome to your oh. Look how cute this is. So yes. cute. So the idea okay. is to so give cute. you a sanctuary okay. so that you have a space when you feel it. Want to do. Cool. And and to help you set the mood, we have a couple things going. So first of all, we have this. And you can hey. you can dim them, or you can make it flicker more. Super amazing because they're super baby safe. Yeah, right? that's yeah. what I like about it. It's cute. What we have here is a little 
sanctuary zone. Obviously, we got some wine. Now, the idea is not to get crunk. You're toasting yes. to the now, to the possibilities, right? Also, did a little Marie Kondo. So, oh, if you want to oh, read oh, about oh. Greek before you go Greek, what? <laughs> right here. And then, of course, in the middle, we have massages. We have a little towel so you're all set and pillow and it's already laid out. And the thing is, is you can do this and like put a movie on and like give massages. The reason why we chose the living room and not the bedroom is because we don't want you to feel like you have to have sex. With no pressure. Right. This is called the Joy Box. Joy it box. is baby proof because you can lock it. You said you love reading. We have... Best women's erotica. Not the worst. Not the worst, the best. <laughs> what better way to get in that ad space than to tell each other stories from the book? One of my favorite tips, you take a yellow highlighter, you take a green highlighter. You highlight passages that <gasps> kind of make you shiver. <laughs> what that's they way like? To like think about how are we sexual in some kind of unique modern way with right. each other without having to get physical if we're not feeling that right Right. Now. These are tanged eggs. Uh -huh. They're little mini strokers, so they're for penises. They have different designs on them. On oh, the interesting, inside. like textured? Yes. yes. So you can use them for masturbation. If you're like a watcher, maybe you can read a story and you can have a little fun, or you could participate. It ups the game of a hand job. Have you used this before? Have I used this before? <laughs> I've used this. How many? Oh. Yeah, yes. And my most favorite thing. This is a massage candle by Shag. When you light it, it turns into massage oil. Perfect. But the heating point is really low. So you can pour it out on your partner and it's not gonna burn them. It's just gonna be nice and warm. And you can keep all of this in the box. And you're all set. And this way it's yeah, like nice. a nice signal too. We're gonna right camp out here. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of new information, how are you feeling? Yes, I particularly like that book idea. It's a my wavelength type yeah. idea, I like that. I like the feeling that it's like low pressure for Jess, but, and for me as well, but also I like that it's kind of like a little treasure trove. We have one more thing yep. that we want to do with you, where we have an activity. Rap time! Rap time! I felt like for you, we could make a little coupon book where you could just ask for a snuggle. I'd like to watch a movie with you. Things that are part of your bond that you already have, but sometimes you're missing. That way it doesn't have to always feel like we have to have the talk. Yeah. Low it's pressure. Like, right. That it's not about a blow job or, you know, a little handy situation. Yes. Whatever you think might feel like delectable and delicious yes. for you right now. Can and speaking of breathe? delectable and delicious, I think this calls for a little Franzia. Because oh, yeah. we fancy. Because yeah. we fancy. A toast to cheap wine, <laughs> but rich imagination. Ooh. Yes. Your skin is so soft. How are you feeling? I'm squishy. What do you all want to share? share? I actually made a few. Cuddle and watch a movie. We used to do that really often. Sometimes we would just like put back to back horror movies just because the head and shoulder massage. I'm typically the one to give massages, and so it'd just be nice to get a massage. And a 15 minute makeout session. Party time. Yes. <laughs> and massage. I like that asking for something you don't normally get. I did 15 minute foot rub. Mm. Watch the sunrise at the bridge. <gasps> Which bridge? Um, George Washington. Oh, uh, wait, paint the picture. We get up early at the ass crack of dawn, walk down that long ass hill, walk to the middle of the bridge, and just like watch it rise over the water with the skyline in the background. Oh. And the last one is breakfast for dinner. I cook do clean. I love it. What kind of breakfast? Waffles. Yes. Um, more waffles. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll go great with waffles. An egg? <laughs> <laughs> Crack open some eggs. How, how does, so how does this feel like this? This, this is adorable. Yeah. yeah? I like it. Yeah. I think I'd like to make some more. I think we've given you lots of things to work with and work on. And you all have brightened our day. Oh, You're definitely. really inspirational and yes. remind us that it's not always just about sex, right. but it's about connection and showing that you care. Want to top off? Absolutely. Yay. Yay. <laughs> oh wow, people really drank, that's good.
I feel like that was very helpful. It gave me uh, new ways of looking at things in a way that seem a lot less pressured. Very self-guided. Yes, yeah. exactly. I'm really excited to think through like, what new ways can I think about how to explore intimacy with Jesse? We have some other tips yeah. for new parents, especially if you live in New York City. So one of my tips is a white noise machine is amazing because it cuts through different sounds. So you would basically put it in your room on the side of the door where you are gonna be, and then you can place your baby somewhere else. But those are savers for like, I want to be able to enjoy myself, but I don't, I'm worried. Like I don't wanna wake the baby up and have a whole thing. And baby monitors are magic. Cause I know a lot of new parents are worried about what's happening and like, oh no, the baby's away from me, us. And like, oh, how do we yeah. relax enough to have those moments? When we came in, we were thinking about the problem being, I'm not feeling super sexual, and that's the problem. Right. And I feel like together, the four of us got to this place where it's like, that's that's what it is. Right. That's what's happening right now. It's not right a problem, now. it's reality. Right. Sometimes we resist what our reality is. Mm -hmm. And you you have a new role as a parent. And yeah. your partner, you're seeing them with a new and set a new of light. roles and yeah. a new life. But the nice thing is they get to know you on a deeper level and you get to know them on a deeper level. Right. So your potential for thickened bonds Thicken grows. Like that. Yeah. Sex, I think, is one of those things that after pregnancy people chase. Just because your doctor says it's your vag is cool, yeah. that it's open for business. Yeah, the vulva yeah. may be open for business, but the mind might be Cerrado. Cerrado. Someone not being in that mode and ready isn't them being selfish. This is reality. How do we move through this and try to take care of ourselves and each other? I was into that. What do you think about that? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>